Welcome back everybody. We're here with another pet project this week with Becca Lawrence from the Lloydminster Community SPCA. How are you guys doing today, <laughs> Becca? Who's this? We're, we're doing really good. This guy up here, this is Rusty. So he is our oldest resident, I would say right now. He's coming in at about six years old and uh, he was surrendered. He was adopted from us back when he was a baby. And then uh, he was returned to us, unfortunately, because um, they, they had a little, they had a baby and then when she kind of started running around and getting a little more active, he unfortunately didn't care for that too much. So he, he didn't like the baby. He would scratch and stuff like that. So unfortunately he can't go to a home with small, small rambunctious little kids. <laughs> He's more of a laid back kind of guy that likes his, his quiet time. So we would recommend a home that's you know older kids or no kids you know just an adult home kind of thing but uh he he's actually really good with other cats as well too he's always been with another male cat um but we think if any cats are good with each other then i think he'll he'll be happy with any companion like that that's understandable becca you know some cats just don't like the uh the overt attention that kids give yeah. you know sometimes they don't want to be picked up and hauled around but you know they're perfectly yeah. fine to, to sit on your lap or you know to hang out with a dog or what have you so yeah yes. <laughs> it's, it sounds like any home without small children would be you know definitely benefited by having rusty beautiful that's right yeah <laughs> um so how are you guys doing for animal numbers in total like are you guys pretty full right now how how is the space going yeah, you know, like we keep getting that gradual trickle in from our waiting list, which is really nice. I know it's warmer weather, so obviously, you know, there's that not that huge, huge concern with the animals that are out and about, which is fine. And, uh, you know, like I said, you know, we're getting that gradual trickle in. We have started to see a little bit more of our, uh, you know, kittens trickling in as well, too. So I think we probably have about five or six litters in foster right now that are waiting to be old enough to come up for adoption. So we should start seeing some babies here in probably the next few weeks for sure. And then uh, our dogs are doing really well too. We, we don't have too many for dogs. Well, that's great to hear. But, uh, you know, with the numbers obviously assuming to be increasing soon, uh, it's, a good, it's a good time for your volunteers to start. And we were talking yeah. about that a little bit <laughs> off camera, Rebecca. But uh, you guys have obviously been looking for volunteers for the spring season. And, and how is your hunt going right now? Really, really good. So, I mean, like we said last week, you know, I had a whole pile of volunteers waiting to start. So I sent everything off and we've get, we've gotten a lot of responses. So I, I think in the next week or so here too, we're going to have a lot of our, our volunteers trickling in as well too. So we're really happy about that. Beautiful. That's great to hear. And you guys did have a fundraiser over the weekend. You guys had the Easter photos. So how did that all go? Did you guys raise, uh, you know, a good amount of money? Yeah, I think we raised about four hundred dollars. So oh. that, that was really, yeah, really about more than what we were expecting. So we were quite happy with that. And uh, I think that was our first time, really, in quite some time, anyway, doing Easter photos. So you know, it seemed it seemed the public really seemed to enjoy that. So I think it'll be something that we want to continue for further years. Uh, but yeah, no, it was it was really nice, and you know, obviously kept it COVID safe and had two different photo booths inside and outside. So you could choose if you wanted to wear your mask or outside, you didn't have to wear a mask. Wonderful, that's so great to hear back. I can't like, yeah. can't wait until the next fundraiser. Um, <laughs> so you were mentioning earlier, uh, again, off camera, that uh, the SPCA, SPCA is actually in need of garbage bags right now. And you know, yeah. I love to ask what items you guys are looking for every week. So obviously uh, <laughs> garbage bags are top of the list this week. Yeah, yeah, that's obviously something that we go through quite a bit every day. I think at least three to five garbage bags a day we go through. So we, we go through a box quite quickly. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the size that we typically use all the time is 121 liters so that that fits all of our garbage bags. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much what we are most in need of right now. Beautiful. So anybody out there who's doing your shopping this week, you know, if you're feeling extra kind, maybe pick up an extra bag of garbage bags, especially, you know, if you happen to see some on sale while you're at Walmart or Superstore or the co-op, wherever <laughs> you do your shopping. And uh, one last thing, well, we just have uh, about a minute left here. Becca, you guys, uh, you're about to start, hopefully soon, your, um, your sea can painting. And we talked about it in the fall and kind of over the winter a little bit, but you guys have really been yeah. looking forward to this because you're getting in local artists to the Lloydminster area to, to paint your new outdoor sea can. So uh, why don't you yeah. just give us a quick update on how that's coming along? Yeah, so I mean, that was something that, you know, obviously we got all these uh, sea cans in that semi-trailer donated last year to, of course, our, our extra storage. 
which was awesome. And then we painted them up white and ready for the artists. And then kind of summer got a hold of us and we, we missed out. But uh, so I'm going to try and plan here right away for to get that started since it's warming up really nice and hopefully do it in May. Uh, but yeah, you know, like local artists and even some kids groups we're going to look at it too as well. Beautiful. So anybody out there in the community who would like to get involved, you know, uh, certainly get in touch with Becca. Uh, um, you know, it's a uh, nice thing to everybody to get together and to create something, you know, to put on display in the community, especially for a good cause like the SPCA. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunately all the time we have this week, Becca, but I want to thank you uh, once again for joining us and we'll speak with you again next week. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Manage your waste and recyclables with Quick Pick Waste Disposal. 100% locally owned and proud to serve and support the communities we call home. Quick Pick, the convenient solution to avoid pollution.